actually big Avengers 4 spoilers, which if you look at some of the other reports we've had about castings of young children to play older versions of characters we already have in the MCU, things seem to be pointing in a direction where I'm starting to feel that this is real because Gwyneth Paltrow came out and talked about how her and Tony have a kid and it's been a few years since the events of Infinity War and knowing that they're casting a older version of Cassie Lang, which is of course the daughter of Ant-Man. I, I'm starting to believe that this is all real and there is going to be a pretty significant time jump in Avengers 4. So I can believe a time jump, um, but it's definitely going to be time is going to play a massive yep. factor. Wait, it's going to be like a bunch of time travel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, like uh, I can't remember w what it was, but um, they did like a charity thing when filming, mm -hmm. and it was it's for, for the hurricane reliefs. And if you actually look at who's there, there's Ant Man, Gamora, and Nebula, but Gamora and Nebula are in the Guardians One costume. Huh. They're not in the current ones, Oof. which they've used for two movies. Yeah, they're in like the old kind of little comic -y nod sort of costumes and it's like that's that's a sneaky one like no one's noticed that until the other day it's like this picture's been out there for months yeah it's just like oh fuck so yeah i think they're clearly gonna do what i've said like they're gonna go to the old movies and um get everything how i don't know how they're gonna do it like, so quantum quantum realm or whatever but they're definitely gonna do that i mean it would make sense if maybe the movie starts off in the future right and we see how it's going and then someone shows up, maybe it's Ant-Man, and he shows up, he's like, guys, we think we know how to restore everything back to order, but we gotta go to all these significant events that deal with each stone, which then you can redo events from the old movies in a new light with new characters and change the universe. It's like, okay, that would be rather interesting, and that'd be kind of ballsy too, so... Yeah. I, I think something like that could honestly work, and the fact that there might be this time jump then just makes me question of it's like, okay, they've teased. It's like, you're not ready for what the next movie is. And you're definitely not going to be expecting where we go for them there. Do, it could be one of those things where they just come back. It's like, yeah, it's been a time jump. And by the time they come back, they're like, no, we're picking up where the movie started. So yeah, it's like mm -hmm. five years in the future, which would be rather interesting and crazy at the same time, you know? Yeah, I, yeah. My only thing with what Paltrow says is, and it it could be for Infinity War, it could have been for Avengers Four. She said or she implied that she's going to be suiting up, and we've seen yeah. her in pictures of the mocap suit. Uh -huh. So, uh, until I see that, I'm not. I don't really want to kind of believe there's going to be a time jump, just because I, I, I don't know. Uh, time jumps can work. But I think for something like this, yes, you can kind of have like the emotional impact of they've had to move on. But then you get this weird thing of everyone's going to be different ages, yet some people look the same and yeah, get a bit convoluted. So sort of. even that age doesn't kind of really matter. But mm. that's the thing. It's like if this was anybody else but the Russos, I would have my doubts. But I think they've earned everybody's trust at this point. They could be like, all oh, right, yeah. they could be like, Avengers 5 is going to be about why the Black Order is restored in time as ukulele players. I'd be like, that's going to be dope. <laughs> I, I love this direction. It's pro it would probably be good because it's them doing it. Like, it's, it's at this point where I think there's going to be spoilers that come out offhanded, and I think any of them could be true due to the simple fact that if they're going to be jumping through time and all this... There's going to be so many different factors going into it that... Yeah, they, they can kind of say whatever the hell they want, can't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, well, it, it, this is going to happen. It's not actually going to be, quote, canon. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is going to be canon because it happens, but it's not in this timeline. It's in that one. But like, it raises it. Like, they have to be so careful if they're going back because and that's just going to... like You know, you take one stone away from one movie and that's the entire fucking universe is different. Right, which makes me think that this is how they're going to do it. It's going to be one of those things where it's like an executed mission. Like at the same time, we all have to go and we have to do it around the same thing. So it's like, mm -hmm. you know, it's like time everything correctly. And it, it just kind of, it seems like they got to figure something out because there's so much to take on in this movie after the last one. Like you look at the ending of Infinity yeah. War, you literally have no idea where did they go. Like it's, it's so much well, stuff. What, what do you do for franchises after this movie? Like, you know, um, 
we'll, we'll get into Bill Obey in a minute. But James Gunn's like, oh yeah, Guardians 3 is about Rocket. Well, I wonder why he said it's about Rocket now. He's the only one left. He can't do anything else. <laughs> um, you know, Tom Holland's like, but are we filming Spider-Man 2? Like, yes, you are. Like, it's obvious. Yeah. But <laughs> are you actually like Black Panther 2? Oh, we could just make sure he Black Panther. Like, forget Chadwick Boseman. Like, let's have a female one. Mm. Like... At this point, I wouldn't put it past them. I wouldn't be surprised if they did something like that. But then not, because they like to keep it simple. But yeah, I don't know. They, they can. There's anything. It's everything's open on like, the table now. Because no. they've said it's like the result of Avengers, you know, four leads into Spider Man. And if they do come back to like a slight time jump, right? It really wouldn't surprise me if we suddenly see someone cast as Miles. And he's just exists in that universe. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. oh, oh, damn. Like, I see what they're doing here. You know, it's like, oh, it's going to be pretty big. So. Poor, poor Aunt May. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean that, that's, it's kind of cheap and easy, but it's, you know, it's an easy emotional factor there. Yeah. Like, oh, you've been gone so long. We moved on. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's if it's that long. But... Exactly. So, I mean, we'll come back to it because I'm assuming we're going to get a lot more weird things that the people are going to say about this movie in the next year or so <laughs> waiting for and it. So all going to be absolute horseshit like the last time. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> so this happens in infinity. War, no, it didn't. Yep. 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 Yep.